Bull Expo. Going to have another great interview here, Bill. Who do we have? Hey, this is a little bit different one. Uh, we've talked with these folks a lot. We've been to their centers. Um, if the name Carter doesn't mean anything to people, we should be listening to the wrong program. So is Jimmy Carter and his sister Casey. Thank you very much. It's uh, nice to be with you again, Bill. It's great to be here at the And is this show. a new partner you got with you? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> Well, good. At least you got someone good looking on the show. Oh, thanks. oh, I'm sorry, Bill. Well, my wife's I, not here, so what, I what can I say? Appreciate that. So, Donna, we, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I apologize. We'll we'll make her listen later. But if, as we said, if the name doesn't mean anything, Don and Laverne Carter, who unfortunately we both lost, we lost both of them this year, and it was it was kind of a shock to the entire bowling world when we lose icons like that. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. It was a tough time to lose Daddy January 5th and then Mommy March 8th. It was so close. But everybody's been so kind, and when they come up to give their condolences, you know, as being in the bowling business and uh, all your life, you read people, and, uh, and I can tell whether they've lost both their parents, one parent, or no parents because of just their body language. And it's been uh, it's a universal pain. And we were lucky they were both so lucent, you know, right up to the end. And when Dad was in the hospital for in December, he, uh, he his uh, buddy met the hospital uh, administrator off the plane saying, you got Don on the second floor. I didn't know there were, like, special floors for special people. And so he immediately went to the hospital after coming back from Europe. And he went in the room, and he started changing everything around. And, and Dad said, what are you doing? He goes, we're putting you in a different room. And the nurses were all in there. And he says, uh, well, is Estelle going with me? Is Mary going with me? Is Diane going with me? Is Donna going with me? He said, oh, no, no, they're second floor nurses. He goes, well, that's what I am. I'm a second floor patient. And are we talking about your dad and how how lucent he was? Uh, I heard the story that a couple of years ago, he kind of won a motorcycle. And he you didn't kind. He won it. You had to pry him off of it. <laughs> well, he, you know, he never liked being in that situation. And he never wore hats. Refused to wear hats. And they made him put this goofy-looking hat with light bulbs and sparkles and everything on. So he finally, you know, they wouldn't let up on him. So he goes, "Okay, give me the hat." So he goes, "If I'm going to play this role, I'm going to play it good because I, I know how he thinks." He didn't tell anybody that. So he jumps on the motorcycle and it's like 60 feet in the air and he's pretending he's starting and how is he going to do it? And everybody that was standing down before the stage, they were jumping underneath uh, the slot machines and everybody's going, "Hey, who's that crazy old man?" <laughs> and uh, some of the bowlers were, "That's not crazy old man. That's Don Carter." <laughs> and they go, "Well, if he's going to try to drive that motorcycle, he's crazy." So. Uh, and then they traded it in because they didn't want John driving the, my little brother driving a motorcycle. So Paula upgraded her vet. Oh, <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough, tough life there. Now, obviously, you just said all the condolence you received, and you've commented on how good you are at returning thanks and condolences and all that. Like, yeah, you're Casey's, caught up from high school Casey's yet? wonderful. And uh, I, I do know, my she, best. She does a great job. I, I still owe people. Uh, thank you letters from uh, high school and and my first communion so anybody waiting for one for me there don't hold your breath tell us a little bit about the don carter world of bowling well we started don carter world of bowling after we had our first pba tournament in 15 years uh last year and then we and then we lost dad and uh you know my uh, my staff wanted to keep it going so you know i thank uh, my son tommy who's uh who's uh, you know, basically runs the uh, the bowling center now. Well, not basically, he does, and uh, allows me time to do consulting work. And uh, we we consult for uh, Disney and IBM and Google. And it's uh, we had the our ad in Bowlers Journal for three months, and then we had to take it out because we just had so much work to do. And it's a uh, it's been very fulfilling. You know, I thought we were going to teach them the bowling business. They're teaching me the bowling business. And they know everybody in the bowling business. They know about you guys. They know the senior staff of Brunswick, AMF, Kegel, um, the distributor distribution lines. I mean, they know everything about our sport. And we've been working to in, improve that to a commercial uh, situation. And we're going to start uh, with the ladies' tour 
uh, coming up, and then we're going to have a uh, a uh, um, a team bowling event that we're putting together, and a wounded warrior event because one of our staff members is a uh, does all the skull caps. Dr. Ken Vihek for all the all the warriors coming back from the uh, from the war, and uh, so every one of them that's coming out of Walter Reed and all the other hospitals when they're going home. They're going to get a bowling ball. They're going to get three uh, three days lessons uh, from a silver, gold, or bronze coach. And uh, the Pentagon is going to pick up all the travel expenses. And Ritz Carlton and the Omni are going to pick up the hotel. So uh, we're going to uh, and Mike Nitre, the Olympian uh, coach of the year for all sports two years ago, has designed wheelchairs for all all the ailments. And uh, and he's an able body guy. And uh, they're just very impressed that an able body guy um, would do that. And I, I'm really impressed that, you know, as a junior bowler with, with his attitude that he does anything at all. But, uh, you know, you always learn. And uh, we love Mike and always have. And uh, uh, what he's doing uh, is going to lift the whole sport. Now, you kind of slid by one little comment, ladies tour. And I'm sure a lot of the ladies... Your ears perked up when you said that. Well, I think the players now just don't, you know, they can't believe that it's going to happen. So I'm from Missouri, too. I understand that thought. So um, show me. And, uh, you know, they're telling me, show me. And so we're going to show them. Another big thing you have is a bowling ball or a n number of bowling balls and a number more coming out. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, we, uh, uh, we've got uh, two bowling balls, and they've been uh, very successful. Uh, we've led uh, a whole bunch of squads, and, uh, and, of course, all the top players are tied up with the major companies. So, you know, we've got that second run and, and uh, winning uh, our leading qualifiers and our days of qualifying is, uh, is very exciting for us. And uh, Larry Lichtstein designed the ball, and uh, we're uh, – we're very happy with the results, and our newest ball will be a Wounded Warrior ball, which will be a spare ball that we're going to try to sell to all the pro shops with the, uh, with the uh, funds going to um, the Wounded Warrior um, project. Now, Casey, your mic's getting a little dusty over there. We've let Jim do all the talking about his dad. How about you doing a little talking about your mother? Well, we miss her terribly, but one of the special reasons we did want to be here this year is she was selected for the Trail ba Trailblazers Coaches Hall of Fame. She didn't even know about such a, an existence of that Hall of Fame. She's already been elected to the M Missouri Hall of Fame, Nevada Hall of Fame, Arizona Hall of Fame, California Hall of Fame, and of course the WIBC Hall of Fame, and she would have been extra specially in the proud. Bon in the Blonde Bombshell Hall of Fame. Right. <laughs> she would have been so proud to be a considered a trailblazing coach. She loved the sport of bowling. She loved working with people, and she couldn't have been happier when they were bowling, and she was able to help them. Jim, let's talk a little bit about the senior tour that you have going at your center. Well, it's a it's a fun event. Um, you know, all the seniors are, are my age, and uh, they've been uh, um, you know they still get that adrenaline rush for trying to make the cut. You know, you're you're out there uh, grinding for the cut, and then once you make the cut, you're out there grinding for the trophy, and and that adrenaline doesn't change uh, whether you're a junior bowler or you're or you're bowling your first pot game or you're just uh... you know somebody tells you how bad a bowler you are and you just tell them to get get their wallet out and put your shoes on we'll see how bad i am and that you know that's the uh... that's the fun part of the sport and we had uh, dick weber's son there this year earl anthony's son this year and uh... and you know the, the players are great and it was uh... just a fun event a lot of great support from the local area businesses right yeah, the uh, the businesses, the city, the city manager, uh, Mike and the uh, and uh, uh, Connor and and Ken and um, you know all of Winter Garden, Florida, really participated. Yeah, because every restaurant we went to excited. in the area is oh, are you with Carter's Family Bowl? Oh, you, you you guys bowl and like everybody knows you. Everybody knows your name, I guess. Yeah, it's funny that somebody in the bowling industry would actually know what marketing is. <laughs> 
Oh, the, well, we'll have to edit out some of that silence there. <laughs> well, I don't want to backtrack or anything, but I did want to mention that when my mom found out that there was no ladies tour after all these gals were winning full boat scholarships for bowling and then they graduate and they have nowhere to bowl unless they're Kelly Kulik who can make it on the men's tour but she was devastated and she really did encourage Jimmy to do what he can do to try to get a bowling women's bowling tour together it would have meant everything to her okay so we talk about Don Laverne how about the little Carters and the little Webbers running all around the bowling centers while the tour was going on? You got to have at least one story, Jim. Well, the uh, uh, I have identical twin uh, uh, granddaughters, and uh, and then they have a little sister uh, that's one year. They were all born in April, one year apart, and they uh, they pretty much dominate the scene when they're around, and uh, we. Uh, we're bringing them out and you know we're having fun and showing them the ball bowlers and uh, they were really impressed with uh, how they threw the ball because they kept screaming ball ball <laughs> so of course my wife Nancy you know grandma hustled them back into the quilt shop the uh, the first go round and, and uh, this year she wanted to take eight lanes away for the for the quilt shop so we had to move her out and uh, so it was uh, the kids were a little older and a little a little more well behaved but they uh, uh, they, they're great. And uh, the other night, Nancy's, we got them overnight. Nancy's setting up my uh, my nighttime medications, and and little Samantha runs in the room, and she says, "What are you doing, Grandma?" And she's like, "Oh no, these are bad. These are these are terribly bad. Don't ever touch these. These will make you sick." Oh, then what are you doing with them, Grandma? Well, I'm getting them ready for Grandpa. <laughs> oh, we want to make Grandpa sick. <laughs> that was a good one. How about a website? And location of your business, and also the ball company. Uh, we're we're at the DC WB uh, Don Carter World of Bowling, and then or Carter Family Bowl, where you can link up, and uh, or if you ever want to uh, see Let's Go Bowling or or, uh, or view uh, the Phantom, you can go there too and click on. So uh, those are our links, and uh, we're uh, uh, have uh, you know working hard on that. And uh, we're uh, on the Facebook and the Twitter. So DCW. we're uh, we're like uh, social media. The kids are taking care of that. I'm like, I'm trying to learn that Facebook. I mean, I'm dedicating like a half hour a day of my life, but that's uh, I'm too old for that stuff. As long as you have young ones taking care of it, for yeah, you don't have to worry about it. That's right. Well, we appreciate you both coming on, and thanks a lot, and uh, good luck. And we'll be talking to you, and we'll be do seeing a lot with you. And I know we'll be working a lot with you. Yeah, my the only thing about that social media stuff, my ten year old grandson Carter and uh, granddaughter uh, Sloan, they're they're they just don't think Grandpa's too sharp, you know, with that stuff because they know it upside down and backwards. Well, for the future commissioner of bowling, you, you better get sharp. <laughs> <laughs> no, they uh, it's over. <laughs> they're going to get what they got. There's nothing going to change now. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks a us. lot. We'll be talking. Bye bye, Bill Ken. Thank you. All right.